Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can macro on Roblox in any game you want or completely free. This includes Anime Vanguards, Fish, and tons of other games that are coming up that are up and coming games that need and require macros. So I'm going to show you how you can set it up for any game you want or completely free. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. So you guys are going to go ahead to the link in the description below. This will take you to my website. Uh, there are a lot of, lot of ads on that. Sorry about that. Uh, but go ahead and scroll down until we find this little download link for Tiny Task. So it says you can access Tiny Task by clicking the link provided, and it's going to take you to the Tiny Task website. If an ad pops up, just exit out. And here we go. We are now on the tiny task website now again on the tiny task website there are ads so you're going to need to go ahead and look for the download link so these download links are not it if another ad pops up just go ahead and x that out and it just downloaded tiny task so it's not this download button right here but it should be uh the one i just clicked on so this one right here this will download tiny task and this is the actual file now i already have one of these that's what it says one right here but we go ahead and open this file up. And as you guys can see, we're going to have tiny tasks. So now we need to go into a game that we want to macro in. So setting this up is pretty simple. We're going to go into, let's just say, let's go into some kind of simulator game. That way it's, you know, the easiest to show you guys. So let's go into this game called Clicking Simulator. And I'll show you exactly how you could set this up. Now you can do this in any game you want, depending on, you know, what the game is. But you can do it in any game you want. So if you need to automate anything, you can do that. So we're in Clicking Simulator. It's loading up. So we're in the game. So let's say we want it to click a ton of times like this. And then we want it to go to the rebirth thing, right? and every once in a while I'll just click rebirth right so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to our tiny task and we're going to click on the preferences and then we're going to do um continuous playback because we obviously want it to loop so the next thing we can do is go ahead and record it now there are a couple um different ways to record this you can just click the record button however you're going to have to go back up here and click the stop recording button and that will be saved in your loop so it's going to waste time so what you need to do is you need to go to preferences and you need to do your recording play uh recording hotkey make it one that you can click and then make it your playback hotkey also one that you can click that way you can just use your keys and it won't go ahead and mess anything up so mine is control shift all r and it's going to start recording i believe i don't know if this key button actually works i'm gonna go ahead and try a different one f8 instead and then we're going to also do we're going to do f8 and then f12 so we're going to start a recording by clicking f8 see if it started there we go it has started now i'm going to go ahead and stop it so i'm going to start the recording let's make sure start the recording start clicking 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 and just keep doing this really quick so you can do this for whatever game you want again you can make it switch through different ones but i'm going to get it to however much money i need all right so all right i want it to click this many times and then i want it to go over to the rebirth and i want it to rebirth now i'm going to click f8 to get it to stop recording so f8 so it didn't stop recording even though i clicked f8 for some reason but it's gonna go ahead and do this so let's go ahead and go to preferences and then we're gonna set the playback speed on times two and then i'm gonna go ahead and click f12 f12 and it should start playing so it looks like i recorded the wrong thing because it's clicking in the wrong spots so i'm gonna go ahead and try that again all right so i'm gonna try that again i'm gonna click record and then i'm gonna make it click down here a million different times all right and now once i get to whatever point i want uh i'm gonna go ahead and go to rebirth get it to open rebirth then it's going to close out rebirth and then it's going to stop recording now i'm going to play it so i'm going to go ahead and click play and it's going to go down here so basically how you guys are going to want to go ahead and use this macro is go ahead and record whatever you're doing click the record button do whatever action it is so if it's clicking down if it's uh clicking this rebirth button and then going here whatever it is you can make it as long as you want you make the process as long as you want um but you're going to want to make sure that you are recording it and then you're going to once you stop recording it click the preferences change it to whatever playback speed you want and then make sure it's on continuous playback that way it will continue to loop and that's really the basics to it there's not too much to macroing it's pretty easy you really just sit here and set it up how you want it now it can take a bit of tweaking i'm not gonna lie but it, it will do exactly what you need it to do 